Wondering why our carman Matis is wearing a woolly hat and scarf in the car? It's because when he's driving a convertible, he wants the roof down, no matter how cold it is outside. He just needs to reduce his speed to 50 kilometers an hour while opening the roof. It takes 12 seconds to open up the Jaguar F-16. After nearly 40 years, the British Marquis has finally come up with a worthy successor to the legendary E-Type. Jaguar long had plans to build this car, but it wasn't until 2013 that it finally went ahead. When it comes to looks, the F-Type has got to be one of the sleekest roadsters around. Matus likes the responsive steering. The suspension has the firmness you'd expect from a sports car, but on long journeys on uneven roads, it could get a bit strenuous after a while. Matus likes the way the instrument display is set out. The steering wheel has a sound grip. This handhold here is not really any use to the driver. It's presumably there for the passenger to hold on when the driver decides to put their foot down. The exterior is clearly inspired by the classic E-Type with the trademark elegant shape. But the hood and the radiator grille aren't just a straight copy. Instead, Jaguar has gone for a more modern interpretation. The door handles disappear smoothly into the bodywork. The interior exudes that classic British understatement. Three elegant dials take care of all the various onboard functions, giving an uncluttered feel. The hood opens forwards just like the E-Type, revealing, in this case, a 3-liter V6 engine. It delivers 280 kilowatts of power and takes 5.1 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. Jaguar says the F-Type uses an average 8.9 liters of fuel for 100 kilometers and emits 211 grams of CO2 per kilometer. The devil is always in the detail and Matas has noticed a few things that unfortunately don't quite match his expectations of such an expensive car. Firstly, there's this little seam here on the door. Then the volume control for the radio. The knob is made of the same hard plastic as the other knobs, so you have to press quite hard to turn it without slipping. The paddle shifts on the steering wheel aren't so nice either. You can feel they've been put together with two simple pieces of plastic. Jaguar could have found a more elegant solution there. Matas is now going to close the roof. Thanks to the interior heating and heated seats, it's actually quite okay to drive in cooler temperatures. But the noise level is something else. Particularly if you like to drive fast and for longer periods, it might be worth getting some earplugs. Otherwise, it's hard to bear for very long. Today, Montes has been testing the F-Type with a six-cylinder engine. It's also available with eight cylinders. But if you just want to have fun and cruise around the countryside, but also want to power ahead sometimes, he thinks the six-cylinder unit is just fine. 